A correctional officer off the job after allegedly crossing the line. The inmate was the victim of horrific abuse inside a state licensed foster home as a child, and he says he's been failed by the system once again. I'm in a mental health unit that's supposed to help me get better. It's the Department of Corrections. It's supposed to be correcting us, not making us worse. Nathan Williams says he's been psychologically tortured and assaulted inside the mental health unit at Sousa Baranowski Correctional Center. The 27 year old inmate in need of mental health services suffered years of physical and mental abuse at a state licensed foster home as a child. He was also allegedly raped. He's doing time for raping a teenage girl in 2013 after he aged out of the foster care system. We spoke with him by phone from inside the walls of the prison. This call is not private. It will be recorded and may be monitored. Williams says the trouble began when this female correctional officer, Charlotte Farrow, began grooming him for a relationship. Her eye, he believes, on the money he's seeking in a lawsuit. Records obtained by five investigates found Farrow and other CEOs researched Williams' history. He and Farrow passed notes when she did her rounds, talked on the phone, and he even had a family member send her $200. He claims they engaged in sexual activity, which she denies. Investigators say DOC cameras couldn't prove it happened. She came to me as somebody that went through the same experiences I went through, uh, being a survivor of abuse. Everything that she told me was a lie. Effectively, that's what she did, was groom him for her own purposes. Lawyer John Swamley believes Williams was targeted for money. He's one of several children suing his alleged abusers and the state. She claimed that she was doing, you know, doing poorly financially, had bills to pay. She understood that he was suing the Department of Children and Families for money and for substantial damages that were caused by them. Swamley says after Williams told prison staff about his relationship with Farrow, he was brutally assaulted by several other CEOs. He claims he was brought to this cage-like unit known as a therapy module where he was taunted, then brought back to his cell where the officers allegedly threatened him with rape, left one handcuff unlocked and the cell door open. That's when Williams says he snapped. Uh, sexually assaulted as a child um, by my foster parents being instigated or let's say threatened with the use of uh, sexual assault by people that are in power of you uh, is just completely inappropriate. In a statement, a DOC spokesperson tells us an allegation of this nature is disturbing and under investigation. They expect all staff to uphold the highest standards of respect, security and care. A department investigation showed Williams wasn't the first inmate Farrow was inappropriately communicating with, but many details, about 17 pages of the report, are redacted and hidden from the public. Nathan Williams is now charged with assaulting an officer and is asking the court to file criminal charges against Farrow and several other CEOs. He has been failed again and failed epically in that, that the people that are supposed to, again, care for him and keep him safe are turning out to be his tormentors. And he is effectively in a cage, again, reliving all of the childhood traumas that he, he had to live. Williams' lawyer says one of the investigators recommended his client be moved from this prison because he wasn't safe, but that hasn't happened. This case unfolding after the Department of Justice found the DOC didn't properly care for inmates with mental health issues or provide proper treatment. No comment from Charlotte Farrow. Kathy Curran, Five Investigates.